Joseph, up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pod. My name is Chishi Zed. Drink the coffee. It'll make you feel better. My friend is dating a high-profile athlete. Let's get it. So I know this girl, she's dating an athlete, and he's a high-profile athlete, you know, like one of the, the famous ones. Mm -hmm. And she's bomb, you know what I'm saying? Very beautiful girl. She's not famous or anything, but regular girl, regular cute girl, you know? So, boom, he cheats on her again. What Are we surprise. surprised? Of course not. But my thing is, when, like, we talk about these celebrities, and like, oh, so-and-so cheated on so-and-so, like, like, why is that news? Isn't that what we expect? Like, you're dating a rapper, you're dating an athlete. Don't you expect to be cheated on? Mm. Like, where does loyalty lie on your priority list? You know? It has to be It has to be after the money and after the lifestyle. My thing is, me having loyalty really, really high on my priority list, I'm not going to date a rapper. I'm not dating an athlete. I'm not dating an actor. Why? I'm not sticking my hand in a shark's mouth. Nine times out of ten, that is going to bite me. So All right, so you guys heard it for yourself. So she has a friend who's dating a high-profile athlete, but the athlete keeps on cheating on her. Listen, this reminds me of a video that I just did of a woman who says she likes nice things and she's comparing nice cars to high-value men. And she said, listen, if I didn't have to deal with the maintenance of the really nice cars I like, likening the maintenance to the maintenance of dealing with the high value man, he might exercise options. That's the maintenance part, right? She says, if I could get what I want without the maintenance cost, basically the high value man without the competition, then she would pick the high value man every time. She goes on to talk about how most women would. Sounds good, but at the end of the day, I was like, that's never gonna happen extremely delusional because like in this example with the chick who's dealing with the high profile athlete he's going to cheat and some women can't stand to hear that they think when i say something like that in my videos i'm encouraging men to cheat no i'm just being realistic i honestly believe any woman who's dates like a high profile actor high profile musician i'm not talking about people who have a little bit of clout i'm not talking about youtubers who kind of no i'm talking about people who are high profile celebrities famous well known if you're a woman and that's the type of man you want and you want that type of lifestyle you need to value the lifestyle more than you do the loyalty because he's gonna cheat he will cheat but women don't want to hear that they want people like me and the rest of the world to say, well, those men need to remain loyal. Why should he when he doesn't have to? In most cases, women know this. They'll get into relationships with those guys, ignore the red flags. And he's sometimes he'll straight up say like, hey, like in the um, N.N. Lee Chopper situation, him and his girl, he kept it real with her. He says, yo, I'm a rapper, I'm a musician. I'm going to step out of this relationship. She said, okay, cool. They finally got into it. She complained and she thought she was going to change him. You're not going to change these guys. Do not. Just expect that if you deal with the rapper, musician, actor, high-profile athlete, you're going to get cheated on. Women who think that they deserve loyalty from those men to me are just being delusional. I don't care how much you ask. I don't care how much therapy you take him to. I don't care how much you pray. If that man has shown you who he is, you better believe him. That's what I'm going to say. Anything else is straight delusion. As always, we're going to check out some of these comments and see what the people have to say. First comment says, exactly. If you're dating that type, be ready to take his money and set yourself up for rainy days. That's coming. Business, not personal. What? <laughs> Damn. Someone else responded to that and said, take his money. Yeah, it sounds good. <laughs> Laughing emojis. Somebody else says, yeah, good luck. Another woman says this. Another woman added and says business, not personal. 100 emoji and the clapping hands. Another person added. Is there a loophole? And the final comment says, on God, if I'm with any of them, it's strictly for benefit because they ain't shit. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is a different perspective. These women are like, use them. Strictly business. Take their money. Of course, right? Next comment here reads, you said again, if that's the case, then she just wants the lifestyle. This comment goes on to say, I don't know how girls just let men cheat on them and get back together like everything is kosher. Well, it depends on what that woman wants. Depends on what the woman wants. You can't have it all. We have another woman here who says, yes, but we got to normalize loyalty no matter who you are. <laughs> Never happening. Another chick responded back to her and says, society has made it acceptable for men of power to be unfaithful whores. He goes on to say, is it normal if they have money? Yes. 
How many women, when they go to their favorite celebrities concert and they're cheering and screaming and applauding for that person or thinking Drake's going to be loyal to me or Chris Brown's going to be loyal to me. They're not thinking that. They know what it is. It's not men. It's usually women who are okay with sharing a man. They prove it over and over again. Another person added to this conversation and says, well, yes, because women have always said and shown they're fine with it. Facts. You flock to men who are capable of and do that. Facts. Another person added and responded to the chick who says society has made it okay for men to of power to be unfaithful. This person says, clearly, it's not that bad of a thing if millions of women still want them. Facts. Next comment here says money slash fame does not equal high value with the shrug emoji always prioritize character in my opinion. This is where I lose a lot of people because so many people are so fixed into their belief set and they fail to realize that women break rules for men who they truly want, men who they view as alpha and alpha being contextual. It's not based on moral character. It's neither bad nor good. That's relative. What's not relative is who that woman finds attractive. Another comment from another woman reads, I say this all the time, I don't condone infidelity, but that's honestly what comes with the lifestyle of dating a rapper or an athlete. Facts. Someone else responded back to her and says, I agree, but if we keep saying this, doesn't it just reinforce and enable men to continue to cheat? And she responds and says, no, intelligent woman. Another woman here says, I feel like a lot of people would rather be in superb relationships than be alone. I would rather be alone laugh out loud yeah that's because she thinks this chick right here looks like a white lizzo probably believes that she deserves a top percent man another guy responded back to that chick and says you don't have much joy <laughs> uh, finally the last comment says facts i always say pick what you can live with the creator responded back to her and says, pick what you can live with absolutely. And finally, the last comment reads, this is great advice. I feel like I just had an epiphany. Hmm. The wall must be around the corner. As always, I appreciate y'all for checking out yet another episode of The Coffee Pot. Leave your comments down below. I'm curious to know what you think. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.